Welcome back to another episode of the Youth Academy Kermo here with Wakefield. We are sitting here now in what is January of our second season in the Premier League. We went ahead and quick send that 1-1 draw against Wofford just to see if we got manager of the month for this absolute destroying of every single team here, including a 3-1 win two times over Everton, a 4-0 win, a 3-1 win, a 5-2 thrashing against Fulham, and then a 3-2 comeback against Burnley. We somehow did not win manager of the month, so that is not completed yet for the board objectives. We still have a scouts to resend out back outs for another three months. We will be going to the homeland for three months. We will be going over to Brazil, actually Argentina for three months. And then we will also go to Chile for three months. Not Is it, do I go to Chile? Yes, yeah, Chile for three months. I do have my mods back on, so 14 to 17 year olds and then promotable at 15 again. And having my mods on is actually so great now because now I can't get fired and I can go save my other saves that I'm about to get fired in because this game is absolute horseshit. As far as board objectives, I went ahead and made the decision to change the 85th minute plus changing goals to 80 minute plus changing goals. So we are 0 for 3 on that and that's actually going to start right now because if I go ahead and go back in time, we're probably at 7 or seven or 8 out of that. So that's going to go 0 for 3 right now. It might change to 0 to 5 depending on how how it goes later on we are currently sitting 12 out of 10 for the for the uh brian and what's the other guy's name brian and barnett objective that is now being up to 20 back to 20 since brian is in the starting 11 and that might even get up to 25 to 30 within later on we are not in the final of any competition yet because we got knocked down the Cowboy Cup. And our FA Cup journey actually begins as our first game today against Leicester City. So that will be interesting to see if we can make an FA Cup run in that. We are currently sitting out of 6 out of 11 players that have scored. We have a right back, one CDM and Moyano. And then our front four have all scored a goal. Our goalkeeper has not gotten an assist yet, even with AI. So that is actually interesting. And then we obviously somehow haven't won manager of the month yet. I'm not quite sure how, but we have it. So that is pretty much that. We are actually about to lose a player as well. If I'm not mistaken, Neil is about to go. His release clause got triggered at the end of last episode. So he is more than likely going to be moving on his way out from the club. So that is perfectly fine. But we have the round of 64 FA Cup here against Leicester City. Let's go ahead and simulate through it, and we'll jump in if need be. Let's just say he's not a bad side, so we're going to have to take him somewhat serious. Yurgate takes the lead for Leicester City. We're down 1-0 really early on here. Yurgate makes it 2-0 in the 31st minute. We're going to have to jump in really early here. I not want to jump in in the first half. I expected us boys to get it done. But here we are. Let's see if we can mount a comeback and at least get maybe one goal. Right before halftime. Oh, that's right. Jacobs out wide for Moyano. Moyano from distance. Moyano. A little bit of spice on it. 2 1. Get one back. Brian's making a run. Brian's in behind. He has to beat the defender. He doesn't. How? Cunningham on the second ball. It might fall for Brian. It will. Back out wide for Cunningham. In for Moyano. Intercepted. And that's going to be game Just over. We are going to lose to Leicester City. Our Virginia. FA Cup journey is over. We get knocked out to Leicester City and we fail in objective. And our path into European football is going to be straight in towards just the league placement now. If we even aim for that. I don't think we really are necessarily. Our aim is top half, obviously. But we get knocked out to Leicester City in the FA Cup run. And there goes Mr. Neal. He's going to walk out the door for, I think it was 70-something million, 76 million to Almeida. I couldn't actually go ahead and try and stop it because I had already released or already done a contract negotiation. So he was just able to walk out for the 76 million. Honestly, I'm not mad about it. He wasn't getting game time. I wanted to sell him at the beginning of the year anyway, and we finally get it done finally get it done so we say goodbye to him we obviously have more than enough room to really replace him as well Leeds United we are going to go ahead and quick sim we just quick sim the full hand game and drew 2-2 when we draw this one 2-2 as well and once again we actually had a draw and somehow get an equalizer to be able to get the draw so back to back draws 
we are somewhat off a high. You know, we haven't lost a league game since Nove since actually October when we lost three games in a row. We haven't lost a league game since then. And we have Newcastle up next to try and stop that. And with no transfer business to be done on deadline day, we are done and we are out of the window. No players have left besides obviously Neil. That was about it. Now we have a chance to bring in some more within the Youth Academy. Let's see who we get. We have Liverpool to play up next as well. But let's go ahead and see in our Youth Academy starting off in Chile. It's looking like it's off to a horrid start here. Next up, we are into Argentina. And I just looked at the very bottom and it's looking like we might get another special player here. I'm going to go ahead and skip him. What is his value? 58 to 80. That's such a massive range for overall. He's 3.4 million. We will go ahead and bring him in, obviously. And then in England, it's looking like maybe over this one, Cummings. Cummings for 1.6 million. I'm going to have to change his name. I can't have a player named Cummings. 2.3 million for Miguel Wilkinson. He is a goalkeeper, though. So he might just be one to just sign and, sign and sell, to be honest. Because I don't really need a goalkeeper. I have Evans. Don't think I'm really ever going to get rid of Evans. As far as our other players that we have just got. Was Garcia one that we just picked up? Was it Garcia? It was Garcia. 70 overall at 17 years old. He is looking like. I can actually go see what his best position is. In just a second. I don't have enough time to do this. These episodes are going to be a little bit rushed for the next foreseeable future. Just because I have stuff to do. He is a better cam. So another cam is going to go ahead and get added to the list here. And then the other guy. The goalkeeper. 64 overall. We'll go ahead and keep him for a little bit. This guy right here. He is next up to be brought in for sure. And he's almost near to being brought in now. But we have Liverpool to play now. They are currently sitting in third. We are sitting in fourth somehow. We are five points behind them, two points ahead of Arsenal. We could put a gap in between that and actually close a gap within Liverpool as well. And it's honestly not out of the spectrum for us to actually challenge for the league as well. We are 14 points behind Manchester City. So it is a long, long shot. But it's definitely not impossible. Let's go ahead and get into the game. Moyano's now 84 overall. That's great to see. Anything else I want to bring in? No. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the game. And let's see if we can beat Liverpool. Wakefield at home. Can we get the job done? Jacobs is on the chopping block to get dropped for just a two-striker formation and a 4-4-2 formation to in incomplete. What, what am I trying to... Petit well, looking to clear for Steele. That's a beautiful ball, ball for Steele. And Steele is in behind. And Steele has a lead. It's 1-0 for Wakefield. A beautiful ball by Petit. Finds a path of Steele. And he's able to just uh, push it away into the back of the net to make it 1-0 for Wakefield. Makes him out. Cross comes and Vargas clear, deals with it. Jacobs able to clear it. There's nobody up though. So Jacobs is going to have to take it himself. And Jacobs is taking it himself. Jacobs in no man's land. He could double the lead here. Release some of the pressure. 2 0 for Wakefield. Jacobs. Brian in open land. This could turn dirty. Brian 3 0. Absolute dismantling of Liverpool at the moment. Nunez. Cross comes in, Petit deals with the first one. Darwin might get a second and effort, he will, but Young heads it out for a throw in, and that'll be halftime. A 3 0 lead at halftime, and we will go ahead and jump to the result as we have absolutely dismantled Liverpool here, and we actually almost absolutely choked things to AI. It's a 3 2 win at the end of the day, but for us, it was dominant in that first half. And it's time to get our revenge on these dirty scumbags. Let's just say that. Let's go ahead and jump into the game. And let's go ahead and beat them in the Premier League and push them down further down the table. And Yuragarte sends a beautiful ball for Moikoko. And Evans has to come in and clear it himself. Moyano. Can't find Davy out wide. Mukoko off the crossbar into the back of the nets. 1-0 for Leicester City. An absolute rocket from Mukoko. 
Because holy cow, that was an absolute rock. And they might be in behind for 2-0. It is 2-0. It's another beautiful goal in Leicester City. Doing what they did to us in the FA Cup. This time in the league. Absolutely insane. This time, Barnett a whip in a corner. It might fall for Acuna. Acuna. Weber was there. He got one back. It's 2-1. 2-1. I read time so done accident. I don't know why time finishing is even on. Line. But less than 20 minutes left to grab an equalizer. If I can walk out of the front door today with a with a draw, I won't be too overly upset. Moyana, I don't know who this is, but you're gone. I don't know who you are, Hernandez. You're in behind though. You're the one to equalize. Hernandez! And he goes ahead and makes it 2-2. At the death, and that's actually our first result changing goal in the 80th minute plus. And actually, if you really want to count that, that's the 85th minute plus as well. We go ahead and equalize here against Leeds United, and there might, with the slimmest chances, be one more opportunity if we can get the ball back now. It is plus three minutes. If we can get the ball back now, like now. Okay, there's no shot in heck. Maybe right here. Cunnings. Or Barnett, Davy, or not Davy, it's Evans. We have to find Weber. We don't find Weber. I should have taken it down the wing more. It's a 2 2 draw against Wakefield, against Leicester. I will take that, I guess. I mean, I, I kind of have to take it. And that is going to go ahead and be the end of this episode. We end it in six after that draw to Leicester City. When we come back, we have West Ham and Arsenal back to back games. So we could find ourselves back into the top four spot soon after those two games. I will see y'all for the next episode. Leave a like, subscribe, and peace out.